OK, so here's my existing Drobo dashboard. You can see here I've got a single drive called X which has got backups on it. And what I'm going to do is go into Advanced. And you can see we've got four drives in here. Two one terabyte drives, two two terabyte drives. I'm going to shut this Drobo down, put it on standby. Here we go. And when it's on standby, we're going to swap it out and put all these disks into the new device and see whether it comes back. I'm actually going to come put them back in a different order, so I'm going to make it put these disks back in a, in a random order to see whether it can recognise the data. There's not much data on there, so I'm not going to lose anything if it's a problem, because currently I'm using it as a backup. But it'll be a good test. Let's see what happens. OK, here's the drill boat, now on standby. As you can see, just got a power light there. I'm going to disconnect the light, the power from, from the box and then I'm going to shut it down completely, take the discs out and swap them over. I'm just waiting a few seconds because those discs may be warm. Don't burn my fingers and then we'll bring it back up with the new box. Right, let's take the discs out. <coughs> Here's how easy it is. We just flick the control at the bottom, the side, and drag the disc out. Disc number one. Disc number two. and the final disc which seems to be slightly more tricky than the others there we are disc number 4 and now we'll power this off OK, the new drobo is now in place, just powered it up, got a green light on the front, just going through checks, as you can see there now, still powering itself up, once it's powered up, we'll put these discs back into it, and see what, if, what, what problem, see if we can manage to fix the problems that we had with it originally, and see if it will recognise a different order. Right, the box is up, let's go, we'll put the discs in reverse order, so where we started at the top previously with this drive, We'll start this one at the bottom. Here we go. First drive, click home. Not easy to do one handed. I'm going to try and hold the video camera. Second drive, square it in and home. Now clearly it wants me to put the drives in in a certain order, which is why the top light's on, but I'm not going to do that. Here we go. Third drive, click home and on. Fourth drive, click home and on. So obviously thinking about it, because I've got lots of different lights on. Just straighten that up there. I'm just going to stop now and we'll go back and look at the screen. Interesting. So the screen here is showing the Drobo desktop, the dashboard as they call it. And um, I've got a lovely message telling me that too many drives have been removed. Please reinsert the drives. Now it can't detect the Drobo. Now it can. And we're back up and running. Currently got flashing orange and green lights on the on the actual unit itself and it says which means don't remove the drives if you look on the inside cover of the actual device assuming that means it's going through the volumes now and checking everything out to see what it looks like we'll just give that a few minutes to come back up and see what happens here's the actual status on the unit itself you can see it flicking between amber and green lights quick look at the dashboard guide here look is on the inside cover and it says don't remove drives which I'm not going to obviously I guess it's scanning the content making sure it's all consistent and we'll see if that all comes back okay here's a more detailed view of the dashboard you can see here that we've got the four drives and they've gone in the reverse order and we've got a message up here saying data protection in progress approximate 19 minutes waiting remaining not quite sure what's happening at the moment 
Um, assuming it's checking the data and it's re-indexing any blocks that need to be re-indexed, but we'll see as it comes up what we've got and what's left and see whether we've actually lost any data or whether it's worked successfully. Come back in 19 minutes. Okay, here we are, one minute to go. And hopefully, in one minute's time, my Drobo box should have rebuilt, or at least reconstructed the RAID on the unit. And by that I mean it's, I expect it's validated all the data on there and assumed it's all valid and checked for free space and all the rest of it. And therefore we should see all these lights turn green. And if that's the case, my data should then be available through the Drobo share that this is plugged into. So we're almost there. All the bars are lit up. Just waiting to see what happens. Should be almost there and then we'll see what result we get. Still flashing. Still flashing, but all the bars are set up. all the bars are complete. Hopefully only a few seconds left. On the unit itself still got the same flashing lights we had before which mimics the the dashboard and that doesn't really doesn't really give me any clues at all other than this, because it's the same as the dashboard so when this is complete what I'm going to try and do is see if I've got a secondary drive what I'm not sure is whether the whole six terabytes are shared out with the Drobo share or whether it's only sharing out one one two terabyte drive, I'll have to check that. But that was the actual problem I had originally. Because I've got so much space in this unit, it created a second logical drive, and I couldn't do anything with that logical drive, hence the reason for the replacement. Now, we're almost there. Fingers crossed that we actually get a result here, and then it turns everything into the, uh, the nice green colour that we should expect. And here we go. All of that is now finished. The job was finished doing its check and it's come back and said the data is all protected 1.67 gigabytes. Now we're going to have a look and see if that data really is valid. So I've just kicked off a rename of the second drive. And as you can see we've got a little box in renaming process. I've just created any old name, don't really care what it comes back with. Let's see what happens, see if it works. It's interesting to note down here that <clears throat> the dashboard is quite a high version. Firmware was quite high, 1.3, but the firmware on the, the share hasn't really been updated for quite a long time, or, it, or at least it would appear that. Whether that's relevant to this, I don't know. But Okay, and here's the result. It wasn't able to perform the rename, so we need to think again.